sandwiches. Yeah. It's on that bone. So this is like an egg. It's smaller on this side, bigger on this side. So you're gonna start here, work yourself around. You're gonna get bigger, mm -hmm. bigger. That's why I just yeah. at first follow the. Technically, it is a it's a sculpting tool. Mm -hmm. well, we use everything here, so. But what it does is that it will wax a line, mm -hmm. and it'll make it darker without making it. But what I want you to do is I want you to take the uh, take a real tiny blender. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna roll it on the uh, on your stick, and what you're going to do mm -hmm. is like right in here, follow this line back and forth all the way out until it fades out to a V right there. Because mm -hmm. what we're doing is we're just gonna anchor your darkest darks first, because when you do that, that's how you set a boundary that keeps your eye from going off the paper. Mm -hmm. And you may have to rub it on the stick a couple of times. Don't yeah. This just, one or this one. Which one? It, they're both number nine, so okay. it doesn't matter. I only buy nines anymore because when you do, when you're rubbing it off, if it's much lighter than that, you can't really get much color. Yeah, yeah. And see how that just diffuses that line. It takes all that out. And then as you look at the picture, look for the V shadow at the bottom. See that little V shadow? Mm -hmm. It's right here. And you come down there, mm -hmm. define that. Yes. And then notice how it goes straight up on the left side. And then it opens up like a fan at the top. So you're always looking for your next V when you're doing shadows. So again, you might have to get a little bit more color and just put put in this V shadow that goes here and here. Okay. You see it right here? It goes just slightly. Part of it goes that way. Mm -hmm. Part of it goes that way. And they're always just very subtle because whatever skin crosses or fabric crosses or hair crosses, it always creates that V that gives you the depth. So now see how that, you got more volume there? So yeah. in here, pull it. See, it gets thin on the outside. So let your color go thin on the outside, but it's darker on the outside. And what that'll do, it'll pull your eye around your head yeah. so that even though it's light background, your, your eye will perceive that there's more hair behind. Yeah. It's just what the eye does. Isn't that looking like hair? Oh my goodness, it looks incredible. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now hair, you always want it to be a lighter line because you don't yeah. even really want to see it. <laughs> and then this guy, see how this is all dark hair? Mm -hmm. Smiles there. That goes over this way. See, this goes over to meet it. But it V's. So that all this hair that's going like this. Mm -hmm. See, it comes to this V. Yeah. Then you got this hair in the back. This hair, see, it's doing something else. Mm -hmm. So let's take that off right there. Let's take that piece of hair out. Because if you don't, it'll end up in front. Yeah. Yeah. So then all you're going to have to do now is take this, and you're going to go back, and then it's like S. Mm -hmm. See? This goes over, this goes under, and it all comes to meet there. And then this next piece will come this way. See it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So just bend it as you go over. And can you tell how, when you come out of those V shadows, you can go any direction you really want to go. Yeah. That's what makes it so important to keep your hair open. Wherever your, the V starts, leave it open like a V in the back and you can always go back in and look at that, mm -hmm. see? Yeah. And sometimes you can go in like, yeah, what you're doing now with the blender mm -hmm. and just lay in the darkest hair and you can come back over it with the, with the strands. Yeah. Yeah, just to get the direction. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you get the, the V at the bottom, see how it's darker here? Darker here, darker there. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll put the dark V in here, then I'll put the dark V in out there, blend it across, and then you have you don't have to take out as much light because through the middle is where the light is coming out. This little section right here. 
Which one? This thing right here. Well, I, yeah, actually, it's this one. See how that goes to a V right there? Right here? Yeah. That's what this is. That little section. Because see how okay. this is going to be lighter? Yeah. Yes. And so then this goes right down in to meet it. Mm -hmm. So get that one first, and it'll isolate what's lighter underneath. Mm -hmm. Because you don't you you can blend through that and then come back and just get the darkest hair, take the light out, and you won't have to erase as much. Move all the way up and get smaller, smaller, smaller. See where this wants to be aligned? Just go right on the edge of that and soft mm -hmm. circle it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now, now we're going to take it here, and let's just come and catch this line that's going all the way up there. And if you notice, we'll just go back and forth because it, it's a line that is top stitched. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, first let's do this first. Mm -hmm. Right around the mouth. Let's get that one first. So just, yeah, just take it around. Yeah. Because what happened is it, it even goes, it probably came off the nose and then hit the face. You know yeah. what I mean? But it gives you that. And the reason why that's important is because it's in your smile. Mm -hmm. And so you don't want to lose that. You just want me we just we'll just soften the corner if it feels right. Kind of. <laughs> it won't work. You don't want it to no. powder and fall down on the yeah. rest of your face. So go in really light. I really don't want to do this one. <laughs> you really don't. Across the nose. Let's go across the nose. Oh, see yeah. yeah. And see how it not kicks up? Kicks up to here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to come up here and it's just going to die to a point right to that white. and you're going to make it wider on your arm. Mm -hmm. And it comes all the way up to the top of the tooth, see? Mm -hmm. Find right. something to line it up with. See that? See how it comes all the way up? Yeah. There you go. Let's see if this will go over because this is going to take off the plastic. Yeah, yeah let's do it.